My name is Angel Curtis. I'm 27 years old, mother of four. I've been attending CCBC from fall 2009 up until the present. It hasn't been easy, it has been a struggle. Me, my four kids, we've been on government assistance. My name is Jack Poteet, I'm 28. I spent the last decade in the Marine Corps. Upon leaving the Corps, I decided to come to school here in Maryland. My wife and I met a few years ago. Our child is three years old. She is the love of my life. As a Marine, I've traveled all over the world, partied in places that some people only dream about. And I used to spend $500 in a club, and it wasn't really that big of a deal. But now as a father and a husband, obviously spending $500 is what you do for that month's clothing or food, things like that. My name is Cordray Savage. I've been going to CCBC for about a year or two now. I was working in maintenance and I found myself in a position where I wasn't really happy with my job. I wanted to be doing something that I have a passion for doing. So I, I did make a conscious decision to stop working and focus on my schoolwork. My major is to be a personal trainer. Hopefully I want to become a football coach one day. My name is Lisa Johnston. I am a second year student at CCBC and I'm 36 and this is my son Jordan. I raised him on my own and I chose to become a student because I found myself in a dead-end job and I wanted to not only do better for us now but show him that there is better out there. One of the number one reasons that students do not complete school is because of financial challenges. It could be balancing school and work, it could be financial obligations, you know, do I feed my children or do I register for classes at CCBC? Everyone needs to know how to manage their money, whether it's a little pot of money or a big pot of money. So financial literacy, in my mind, is helping people to understand what their pot is, the size of their pot, and how to work with the size of the pot that they have. It's all about discipline. You gotta have discipline in anything you do, especially with money, because money's not everything, because it's here today and gone tomorrow. Kudre does not qualify for free grant money. He actually takes student loans out every semester to go to school, so what he's doing is he's making an investment into his future. When you're in the military, you have a standard, structured way of living, and that includes your income. Once I left, there was, n there was nothing, you know, that was it. Now you come out and you're in the civilian world, you almost have to ask for help sometimes, and he's not used to doing that overcoming that obstacle and realizing that asking for help is not a bad thing. When my wife started working, I no longer could drive to school. I had to take the bus. And taking the bus is a headache in itself. It got to the point to where working full-time and going to school full-time just wasn't going to work. So doing the unemployment and went with my veteran benefits was essentially how I'm able to maintain the household and family. If we divide five X by five, we get during my time in school, Jordan was diagnosed with sensory processing disorder, and I made the choice to take him out of the school system, and I homeschool him in addition to my schooling and my part-time job. Fall of 2009, El Gates and Electric had got shut off. I was heating the house with the stove. It was sometimes at night, you know, I had to study with the light on my phone. Sometimes my neighbor ran extension cords that helped me sit up there and <laughs> it's okay to see. I mean it wasn't it wasn't easy. It was a really rough semester. I sat down and I really said to myself that I have to just stick with it. You have to think about what your priorities are. Even if you earn $100 a week, what are you spending it on? For students that have credit cards, what they tend to do is they purchase things on credit cards, such as a Starbucks coffee, when they could have maybe just walked with cash and budgeted out how much those coffees are gonna cost them over the course of the week. You have students that maybe get a refund check, and rather than maybe save some of it for that rainy day, they would take the refund check and perhaps use it on things that would be considered wants versus things that are needs. So I have seen some of my students looking really fly in their sneakers, and when I ask them, let me see your textbook, they don't have the textbook. It's a problem, Houston. We're learning a lot about wants and needs. 
we're no strangers to goodwill, you know, we, we do what we need to. And there may not be any trips to Disney World right now, but maybe in a few years, we'll be able to do that. And uh, it's important. And I think so far we're better for the journey. I definitely like to set up a savings and manage your money. Think about what you need and what's really a want. And can you make do without it? I like buying clothes. Me and my brothers, we have our own little system. We, we kind of borrow from each other a little bit, match and match um, different outfits together, and, you know, help each other out in that, in that area so we can save money. I budget $805 a month. That's not the easiest thing to do, but you learn how to do it. My mother's mother, she told me never not have at least $100 in my pocket. So I can sometimes say I am broke, which I really am, but that hundred dollars is tucked away just in case the kids need to go to the hospital. The common trend between the four students profiled is they have all decided what was a priority for them. And attending school so they can improve their financial future was that priority. You know there's a lot of benefits out there that are available if we only know how to, how to look for them. I don't think there's anything that they could throw at us that I'm not gonna find my way through. I figured if you manage your money correctly, you should be able to pay for everything you need and still go for your goal. When I first went there, my GBA was like 1.9. And I came back now that I'm older, and my GPA ended up being 3.46. And, you know, I'm going to knock this semester out with all A's, so hopefully it'll be a 4.0.